Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and yeah, it's the winter months, and so we got to get ourselves prepared. And Deidre Harmon is here to tell us how to prevent our pipes from freezing. And I don't mean these, right? That's right. How are you doing, Deidre? I'm doing well. How are you? Okay, I got to ask you from the get-go, though. How was your holiday? It was good. Thank okay. you. And you didn't nice. put any of that holiday grease down the drain, right? No, I didn't. Scraped it into the trash. That's right, because for those who have been watching the show, that's really the big push. Even though you got the, the garbage disposal and all that kind of stuff, your maintenance of your house really begins on what you put down the drain. It does. We want to keep um, our home pipes nice and healthy, and um, we can do that by keeping fats, oils, and grease from cooking, frying, um, and baking. We want to keep that out of our drains and put it in the trash instead of um, down the sinks. Because can I confess to you? <laughs> yes, of course. During the holiday, I tried to sneak some down the drain, and I've been put on tight control in the kitchen, thanks to my wife and this show. Oh, good. Says, Don't you watch your own show? You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> However, do under the sink, I'm on an exterior wall. And so when they start talking about these teens, should I be worrying? Yes, yes. When temperatures start to drop and get near um, freezing temperatures, we would like for homeowners to please um, protect your pipes from freezing. And they can do it in several ways. They can um, empty hoses and disconnect them from um, your home. And also so on the outside part. Yeah, I guess on we'll the start from the outside. Then. Yes. So outside, there's really no reason to have that hose left over from the fall hanging up the side of the house, right? Exactly. They can empty that and disconnect it. And also there's a faucet protector that homeowners can purchase um, from any hardware store. It's very, very, fairly inexpensive. And also pipe insulation if I people have say, I was crawl Because I've never seen anybody, it, it's a little skinny for a, um, what do they call those for the pool? Yeah. In the wrong time of year. So this <laughs> yeah. insulates the pipe? It does, and it comes in different sizes depending on what pipe size homeowners have in their crawl space or even if it's exposed outside, they can purchase these um, fairly inexpensively and it can prevent, you know, major costs for, for um, pipes bursting or now, freezing. Now, have you actually put this, you yourself? Or? No, no. <laughs> I but haven't. It, it's I'm pretty easy. It. You just kind of slice it? It is. Actually, it comes already pre-sliced and oh. you can just open it and fit it right there on your pipes. Oh, so you don't have to worry about disconnecting. It's very easy. Yeah, here it, it is. It is. It's very was easy. Was I supposed to have done that? Yes, of course. And then you just slide it around there and it's kind of like a sleeve. Yes, and it helps keep um, the pipes insulated. I probably could do that. Yes, it's easy. Because for Definitely. a lot of us that are on a crawl space, that's where you run into issues, isn't it? Exactly. Any pipes that are exposed to the freezing temperatures, maybe even in a garage or in the back of your home, um, those are the ones that you want to get the uh, faucet protectors mm -hmm. for to cover it up. Or even some people have just put cloths over their, you know, over the coverings too to protect it. Now, this might be an obvious question, both hot and cold pipes? Yes, hot and cold pipes. And even inside the home, um, homeowners can let their faucets drip just a bit. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. I mean, I've heard about the dripping faucet. So yes. you, but you're not talking about a, a steady stream, right? No, not a steady stream. We don't want to waste water, but just um, when temperatures you know, get really low, just to let it drip on both sides, the hot and the cold. Now, at what point should you kind of start putting the radar screen up to kind of do the dripping in, the, in that, like, below 30? Um, I would say below 30 or getting right around 30 it would be a good idea to winterize your home and pipes and even irrigation systems or pool systems. Those can be affected as well outside. Now, if somebody's kind of catching this and says, oh, my gosh, what are we going to do with that tube? You can go on Norfolk.gov, and we've got these kind of uh, yes. uh, solutions to, to uh, preventing the pipes from freezing because it is a mess. It is. Now, and I'm sure there's a builder out there saying, Daggone it, I just built a house and that's not a concern. But yes. we're not really talking about some of the new construction. It's really in the older construction. Yes, yes. And any pipes that are exposed to the weather, the elements, I mean, it's better to be safe, you know, and, and preventative in those measures than to, you know, kind of chance it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Deirdre, let me ask you, where does the homeowner take responsibility for the water pipes versus the city? At what point? Um, At what place? There is a point, um, it's it's near the home line, um, which is the property line where the home starts okay. um, versus the street. Because I've always said kind of from the meter on. Yes, yes. That, now, That's most right. people do even know where the meter is, but the meter is right. located more toward the, 
the street most of the time, right? It is. It's closer to the street level, and that's why we, we want, you know, we ask um, that residents try their best to keep fat soils and grease out of the drains because what happens is food particles and grease, it travels down the pipes, and it could, you know, cause um, disruption on the homeowner side or on the city side and disrupt your neighbors and have a backup, and that would be the worst. You yeah. Know. Now, okay, any guidance on if you're seeing that your water is starting to run slow in your house, leaving? If the water is starting to run slow, they're welcome to call um, our emergency number and have it checked. If they have a concern or, you know, if they have a concern about it, they can ask our staff about it and have someone come and check it or um, just keep an eye on it, monitor mm -hmm. it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, Deidre, I'm, I'm glad we our first segment of the new year is all about me really keeping nuisances out of your life but making sure your pipes keep running. Yes. Right? Yes. That's really what it's all about. It is. Being safe. Now, okay. I'm going to be looking forward to you coming on the next uh, couple of months because I understand the water quality report is coming out again. Yes, in May. That's any, right. Any hints where it might be heading? Um, not yet. Not yet. But, of course, we always um, get that out to our residents to let them know um, how the water is. Cool. Well, yeah keep us posted. I sure will. Thanks a lot. So Thank make sure you. you cover those pipes and drip the water when it gets uh, gets cold. When yeah. we come back, we're going to be talking about some, taking some instruments out into the community. Stay tuned.